The data that comes into the learning records warehouse is obviously very sensitive data, um, especially for live data obviously coming into the system for learning analytics. Um, in terms of um, security of that data, um, really is um, something that JISC takes uh, very seriously. Um, and in terms of the way we maintain and, and obviously enforce security um, is is done with our partners um, who host the, uh, the the cloud data storage for the learning records warehouse at Amazon Web Services and, and Rackspace. Going back to um, our data processing agreements where we're quite, um, quite clear in terms of our role and responsibility as data processes and at the end of the day um, the institutions um, are the data controllers so in terms of what data they want to give us is totally um, up to them and what data we actually will hold for them um, moving forwards in terms of historically and also live, they have complete control over that. Um, the Learning Records Warehouse is open for them to view what data we hold for them and also open for them not just to add data but actually remove data as well. And that's something we will give them um, the ability and flexibility around doing that in the future. Um, but really, is it, it is up to them under the, under the jurisdiction of the, the data processing agreement. So the architecture ensures student privacy um, on a number of different layers. Um, so the first is general system security. So the records warehouse itself employs all the standard kind of data security type approaches that you'd imagine such a system would hold. Um, so it's held in a very secure location in the UK. Um, the database itself is encrypted. We've done things like employed third party um, penetration tests where essentially um, a, a completely independent third party tries to find weaknesses in the system and reports back. So we've got all the kind of standard best practice processes in there. So that makes sure that the um, data store itself is secure. The next level is to um, make sure that the right person sees the student's data. So we do this in a number of ways. The first is that each store is um, owned by the institution. They control what data goes in and who can see it. Um, so the way this works at a technical level is that the institutions decide what data they want to put into the warehouse to make whatever applications um, they have work. They then say, right, OK, I wish to use application X. Please can I release this information to that application? So each application only gets to see the data that it needs to actually operate. So in this way, we make sure that there's no kind of general access to all the student data. When an institution provides data for us on a historical basis, um, very much the emphasis is in terms of not just what data they provide but more so in terms of the identification or anonymization of the data they provide us for historical predictive model uh, creation purposes. So um, one of the things we are uh, providing is a data encryption um, service. Within the project we will actually at the um, ask of the institution we will encrypt specific fields of information within the unified data definition and the corresponding uh, activity data as well. We will encrypt specific pieces of information which may um, lend cause to identify uh, specific students from that raw data in itself. So we will use a pair of keys to encrypt and scramble effectively student IDs within the UDD, within the activity data and other pieces of information, for example a student's first name a few students' last name and so on. If the institution doesn't want to give us that data for historical purposes, that's fine. But what we're doing is we're encrypting everything we think that should be encrypted, whether the institution gives us that information or not. So, um, an institution's data is um, very safe in the warehouse. Um, so we've got two things to consider. First of all, the security side. 
can it get hacked and so on. Obviously no system is completely hack proof but we have put in um, best practice um, across the board. And I think the thing to remember is that the bigger the supplier, actually the more secure the system. Um, so we can um, put more security around the data than any single institution could. The second then is, is how we make sure it's not lost. Um, again, storing in a cloud-based solution makes this much simpler. You have a, a broad selection of tools and techniques to ensure data is backed up safely, is held in multiple locations and so on.